Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. So excited to welcome you to week 16 of the 52 week options trading challenge. And let me tell you, there has been some serious volatility out there. So yeah, really excited to hop into the week and show you uh, kind of how we trade it. But real quick, before we get into the video, if you're new here and haven't already, please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. Also, while you're down there, please be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. And one last thing before we get into the video, I'm just gonna take my Instagram and leave it right here. Do with it as you will. And without further ado, let's get into the video. It's Tuesday after market opened. The market was closed yesterday because of Martin Luther King Day. Hope everyone had a wonderful day off. Uh, me personally, whenever the market is closed, uh, I get kind of bored. So hopefully you had a little bit more fun yesterday than I did. But anyways, uh, let's hop in the portfolio and take a look at what moves we made today. All right, so here we are in the portfolio. And as you can see, our account value is sitting at 47. So we're $3 below where we started this whole challenge. We're on week 16. And um, on the day, we are down $13.24. We have a dollar and one cent buying power, and we currently are sitting in two positions that we both entered today. And you may remember from the last video, we are in two different positions. So let's take a look at our history and see how we got here. All right, so uh, looking at our history, you can see that uh, we sold out of the UNG call for $25, bought into the UNG call for $39. So right there, we took a loss. That's a loss of $14 right there. And then uh, we also got in a call on Avi. We paid $22 for it and we sold out of it today for $15. So um, that left us with a number of buying power. Don't know off the top of my head, but um, what we did with that is we bought a call on Facebook today. Facebook dipped down to about 318, 319 this morning. And I bought a 355 call for next week. Got some time on it. Don't have to worry as much about decay happening this week. And I believe that Facebook should at least come back up to that 330 level and I'll try to sell it out. If it takes too long to do it, then I'll take a loss on the position. But I believe Facebook should be able to do that and we should get some good profit on it and make up for what we've already lost this week. And then uh, we have an Altria call that I paid $10 for. Altria calls have been real good when they've been losing premium and they lost premium. So I bought in, but uh, with the Altria call, if we take a look at it, uh, where it's sitting right now, Altria is sitting at 550. So I'm down 45% from where I bought it. Uh, and down 10% on the Facebook. I believe both these can turn around tomorrow. I like both these positions because I knew they wouldn't just decay right away. And if we take a look at my day trades, you can see that uh, today I don't have any, tomorrow I get one back. I really wanted to get in these plays so I could kind of set myself up for tomorrow. On both plays, I was profitable at a point in time today, but um, wanted to set myself up so I could make day trades if I need to, but also if I don't want to, I don't have to tomorrow. Both of these plays have the potential to make me some profit this week. So yeah, that's that's kind of how we're doing Tuesday. I will catch you on Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We're here after market close. And today was a rather interesting day. Uh, so without further ado, let's hop in the portfolio. All right, as we look here at my watch list, after hours, it looks like everything is sitting here in the red. And actually today was a very interesting day. This morning, the market opened up green and then it was red and then it was green it went like really green and then it just sold off so hard towards the end of the day like look at this chart so you'll notice like a lot of like look at Appy. um here let me go to the five minute chart so right here looking at abvi on the day you see started up in the green took a sharp decline slowly rose throughout the day and came down hard at the end of the day. Most of the stocks I was watching today had this exact same chart. All right, so um, yeah, looking at the portfolio, you can see on the day we're actually up $11.84. So hey, looking good on the day, but right now on the positions we're in, we are currently down $8.50. On the bright side, I now have a day trade Tomorrow, I will still just have one. And then on Friday, I'll have all of them. So at least if I make a play and then I need to get out, I can do that quickly. Now that we've taken a quick glance, let's click on history. All right, so looking at our history, 
Uh, you know that we bought into Facebook yesterday for $45. Well, today we took some profits on it. We sold out for $46. Facebook ran up today like I expected it to. Didn't quite hit that 330 that I originally wanted it to, but I was kind of wanting to get out around the $26, $27 price point. And Facebook, after it dropped so hard this morning and it, it came up slowly all day, it was kind of just sitting at the same value all day. And when it finally did run up to like $27, um, the most I could get was a dollar off this contract. And I actually believe that was like the highest the contract got. So I'm happy I sold at its highs, but uh, yeah, we, we took a dollar profit. So, hey, looking good right there. So what we did with the money from Facebook is Netflix has their earnings tomorrow after hours. And I really wanted to get in on the run up for Netflix. Uh, the stock hasn't really ran up at all but even if the stock doesn't run up i know the premium will at least run up a little bit i bought two contracts of netflix i paid 23 dollars each contract so a total of 46 dollars and um if we go back to our assets you can see that it's currently sitting at 23 dollars, but it shows we're down on it so right now we're kind of break even on those contracts one thing that i've always noticed is like for all the after hours earnings even if the stock goes down, if, if I'm holding a contract, the contract will either hold its value or go up. So, and for those of you that don't know what that's called, that's actually called an IV run up. That's what I'm going to take advantage of tomorrow because uh, the market has done nothing but going down. All the trades I've been trying to do were going up. Yeah, I may have to start playing things both ways, but as low as my cash balance is, I really just have to be careful. But uh, anyways, uh, one more thing to look at. Uh, you'll notice Altria, I believe we're... We're down $7.50. We bought in for $10. It's now valued at $2.50. So yeah, we're down on that. Um, really, really thought that would turn out better. It's, it's not too late, but um, this does expire this week. So I don't expect too much out of that. But anyways, that's going to do it for Wednesday. I will catch you on Thursday. It's Thursday after market close and it has been a journey. Ah. Let's hop in the portfolio. All right, so here we are in Webull, and as you can see, most things are down after hours. Uh, right here on this screen, everything except for American Airlines. Uh, if you were watching yesterday, you'll know pretty much the only thing we were in was Netflix. So let's actually scroll down to Netflix and see how they did today. All right, so looking at Netflix, they closed at 5.08, so I, I believe they closed around like 5.15. 520 somewhere in that range yesterday and as of right now and after hours they are currently down to 407 dollars they're down a little bit over a hundred dollars almost 20 percent this mess is crazy all right so uh yeah let's take a look at our positions as you can see our account balance is sitting at 28.68 and um on the day we're down 27 dollars and 23 cents so um as of right now we are sitting in a call on facebook just because facebook and the rest of the market fell a good amount before market closed and uh, facebook has earnings next week uh, the fed speaks next week a lot of earnings next week so there's a lot that can turn stuff around but uh that's that's kind of my hope with that facebook will typically get some premium pretty quick uh when it comes to uh hopefully their earnings run up and just whenever it moves back up to its normal trading range. But uh, seeing the way Netflix traded, it's kind of just gonna come down to how other earnings are next week and what the Fed has to say next week. Uh, may just chill in this position till then, because uh, right now we are, we're down. But again, still not out. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, take a quick look at the history. All right, so, um, managed to get out of the altria call for a dollar there was a point nobody even wanted this we got out of those netflixes for uh 13 each so salvage 26 dollars overall from that and and then we took 23 of that 26 and bought into facebook so that's how we're doing on the day and just for fun let's take a look at how altria did after we sold it so altria didn't really do too much better after we sold it so Feeling good about that, but yeah, um, kind of got to slow down with the trades, make sure I get time. And right now I'm 
really fighting for survival. Today's video is brought to you by Tiblio, a complete crypto stock trading system with pro level tools, real time market data and news, as well as the fastest scanners in the market. Tiblio provides traders with the leading tools and fastest data in the market so that you and I can find the best opportunities to maximize profit and build wealth. Today, when you sign up for Tiblio Pro, you'll also get access to my Discord as well as the Tiblio Active Trade of Discord for free. Tiblio Pro is only $34.95 each month or get two months free by paying for the whole year upfront at an annual price of $349.50. Not sure if it's worth it? Uh, sign up using my referral link down below in the description and get seven days for only $1 with all the trades, the trading journal, the screeners, not to mention the Discord and everything else that Tiblio has to offer. I can pretty much guarantee you'll love it. Now back to the video. Here we are Friday after market close. Actually, it's Sunday midday, as you can see from the lighting radiating on me. So I just realized that we forgot to take a look at the goals for the week. So we're going to start out by hopping in a spreadsheet, taking a look at the goals, and then we're going to hop in the portfolio. All right. So here we are in the 52 week challenge spreadsheet and this is week 16. So we should have started just under $209 and finished just under $230. And now we've taken a look at what our goals are for the week. Let's hop in the portfolio and take a look at that. All right. So here we are in the good old Weeble. As you can see, uh, I'm not holding anything at the moment and our cash balance is $28. So as of right now, we're about $200 below where we should have started the week and about uh, 200 and I, I believe 220 dollars below where we should have ended the week so yeah definitely have some ground to make up um, don't expect to do this all at once but um just to be real if i were not doing this challenge i probably wouldn't be trading right now i probably just have my money sitting on the side until some big obvious play game but um this little crash this volatility that's been going on has gotten the best of me looking back at it there were some obvious trades i could have made almost made that i didn't that could have this uh, account looking completely opposite but that's not the way things played out so hey gotta make do with what we have so um yeah looking at the history of the trades i made so i believe on thursday we bought into this facebook call um towards the end of the day it was it was up like a dollar we paid 23 dollars for it and then on Friday, uh, it actually was down pretty bad in the morning, but I managed to get out with a dollar profit and I actually sold at the high. I was just like, yo, this looks like it's gonna get bad. Let me get out. And I was gonna grab a put on the spy and that put would have done great, but, but with the cash balance I had, I really didn't wanna rush into anything. If I don't see anything obvious, I'm gonna hold off. So a lot of you have been saying, yo, you should be trading like ETFs and stuff like that, like uh, like the NASDAQ and the SPY and all that. And I agree, like I've been trying to trade like Facebook, Altria, stuff like that. And at the moment uh, with the trends, if I trade with the trends and just with everything that's the volume that's been going, uh, that, that would do me well. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of a look at that, but I'm not gonna be in a rush to hop in on anything this upcoming week. I know the Fed is supposed to speak on, I believe, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, maybe Wednesday and Thursday. But yeah, I'm not going to rush into anything like that. That being said, if for some reason you're new here and haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, make sure to smash the like button. And if you're interested in signing up for Tiblio Pro or my Discord, hey, be sure to check out the links down below in the description. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.